Hi, welcome to What's New with Oliver. And Oliver's here with five more new books that came in this week at the library. And every week we get new books at the library, but we picked out um, some special ones that he wants to spotlight. We have played Frisbee about five times today. It was a gorgeous Sunday and uh, he still has some energy. I thought he'd be worn out. So let's start off with our first one. Lila Lou's Little Library, A Gift from the Heart. And this is by Nikki uh, Briggs Nicer. And this is a great book about this little girl. She has so many books. She doesn't know what to do with all of them and neither does her mother. And so they build a little library for her to share her books. And it's called Lila Lou's Little Library. And we love this book, especially because at the very front, it talks about before reading, sorry, I'm blocking your view, and while you're reading and then after you're reading, uh, ways to engage in the book and talk about it. So, Lila Lou's Little Library. And then we have I Love You Blue by Bro. And this is about a little boy in a boat and he goes out into the ocean and he needs some help and a big blue whale helps save him. Look at that big blue whale, it's huge. But then something happens and the boy doesn't see the whale for a long time and he goes down into the sea and he asks the whale what's wrong. And you'll have to check out this book to find out What's wrong with the whale? It's a very sweet story. And at the end, it has save our oceans and save our whales. And it's tips and tricks on how to keep our ocean clean and safe for everyone and everything that lives in the ocean. Our next story is Stretchy and Bean by Judy Schachner. And this is about a family that every person in the family gets to adopt a cat. And Beanie's cat is pretty wild. And uh, she has a pretty big personality. All right, Sam's getting a drink and he's very loud. And Beanie wants to do a lot of things with her cat and he's not really a willing participant. You are a loud drinker, Sam. Excuse me, excuse me. She even puts him in a carriage. I know a few people who have put their cats in a carriage and taken them on walks too. And then at the towards the end of the story, her friends and her family tell her why her cat isn't behaving is maybe because she's very bossy. So you'll need to check out Stretchy and Beanie and see if they work it all out. I'm not bossy, am I? One, Two, Grandma Loves You is our fourth book. And this is by Shelley Becker. And this is a story of a grandma and her granddaughter that live far away from each other. And they sing a song like One, Two, Buckle My Shoe and lead up to their visit and while their visit. And uh, this one is One, Two, Grandma Loves You, Three, Four, Visit More. Look, there's a dog, there's a dog. And it goes through all the things they do when they're together, five, six, measure and mix, they make a cake, and seven, eight, stay up late, and they do nails. But then the little girl has to go back home, and so nine, 10, they plan another visit. And then Jib Burish by Yang Vu. This is a story about a little boy who comes to America and he does not know the English language. And it all sounds like gibberish and he feels all alone in school and he is very frustrated. He doesn't know what all the words are in books and what people are saying and in directions, but he meets a special friend who helps him learn different words and turn his gibberish into something he can understand. So we like that one too, didn't we? 
So those five books, we loved a lot, didn't we? And so Oliver rated them five friends, right? Five friends, we love our friends. Yes, we love our friends, but we're not gonna eat the paper. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.